lot of self-doubt would creep up. Bam, obsessive thoughts. Totally taken over my day, month, year. That has freed my mind from obsessing about things that did not exist, that would never occur. Living with OCD causes you to start doubting yourself in other areas of your life. And they are thinking that they are the worst people existing in this planet. Hey guys, this is Coach KP and today I'm gonna talk about something that's near and dear to my heart, something that doesn't get talked about a lot overall and something that I even don't talk about because of um, you know all of the uh, misinformation and stigma around this problem, okay? So I'm gonna talk to you today about obsessive compulsive disorder and my experience with obsessive compulsive disorder and how I have been able to beat it. Before I start talking about my experience with OCD, I would like to give a textbook definition from DSM-5, which is the Diagnostics and Statistical Manual for Mental Disorders. So the fifth iteration of DSM, the Diagnostics and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorder, defines OCD in two separate parts, where they define obsession in um, two parts and compulsions in two other parts. I will put a link to this in the description of my video so you can look it up. All right, so obsessions are defined by one, recurrent and persistent thoughts, urges or impulses that are experienced at some time during this disturbance as intrusive and unwanted, and that in most individuals cause marked anxiety or distress. Okay, and the second definition of obsession is the individual attempts to ignore or suppress such thoughts, urges or images, or to neutralize them with some other thought or action, that is by performing a compulsion. Compulsions are defined by repetitive behaviors or mental acts that the individual feels driven to perform in response to an obsession or according to the rules that must be applied rigidly. Two, the behavior or mental acts are aimed at preventing or reducing anxiety or distress or preventing some dreaded event or situation. However, these behaviors or mental acts are not connected in a realistic way with what they are designed to neutralize or prevent or are clearly excessive. Uh, these are the definitions provided by DSM. Um, again, I'll have a link to it. I'm not a clinical psychologist and whatever I'm going to talk next is not going to be from a clinical psychology perspective. Um, if you are suffering from these thoughts, please make an appointment with a clinical psychologist. They'll be able to help you. And I hope whatever I'm offering in this video would be of immense help. So the flavor of OCD that I had was the obsessive piece of OCD, okay? So when we uh, watch movies and when we see examples of OCD um, out there in mainstream media or pop culture, we see the compulsive piece of OCD where, you know, you're washing your hands uh, hundreds of times a day or you're checking your keys for a certain object that belongs to you. I experienced very little of that, okay? Uh, in my journey, what I experienced most was the obsessive thoughts. And these thoughts had terrible stronghold on me. So I would have a thought that I would obsess about for having that thought. For example, let's say a, a dangerous thought of, you know, as I'm driving, going somewhere, um, somebody's crossing the street. In my mind, a, a picture would appear where I would see myself running this person over, okay? It's pretty scary. Um, and I would obsess about that. I was like, why is that thought coming to me? What does that mean? Am I a bad person for this? Blah, blah. Even when I had a clean driving record, I didn't really, you know, drink and drive and did all of these crazy things that people do with their cars. Um, you know, I had the this type of thought occurring so many times in a day. And then I would think about it, obsess about it. Why did I have this thought? It would make me feel really bad. And, and I would go into this uh, cocoon of, um, you know, uncertainty and insecurity and, uh, just really overall discomfort, okay? So really a lot of self-doubt would creep up at that point, okay? Uh, and that's just one example. I had a ton of 
um, this type of situation going on. These and these thoughts came and went, right? So sometimes I would have a long spell of not having anything. Life is good. Everything's all good. And bam, bam, obsessive thoughts totally taken over my day, month, year. And the, and the problem with all of this is I never seeked help. I was always holding it together. Um, you know, even when so much was going on in my mind, I never thought about sharing it with, it with anyone because of how horrible these thoughts were. And um, pure obsession, the oh, pure obsession part that I've been talking about, it really does a number on people because there is a specific um, themes of OCD uh, where uh, some people doubt um, the relationship. There's a relationship OCD where they're constantly obsessing about the quality of the relationship or whatever is happening in the relationship. Is this going correct or not? Like that becomes a real problem for people. Um, the, one, the type that I had that mostly plagued me was harm OCD. It was about harming others. Out of the blue, crazy thoughts of harming others would come to me and I would be spiraling out of control. And I couldn't really share, even to this date, I, I, it, it gives me a little bit of uh, un, uncomfortable feeling to share this. Talking about OCD makes me want to bring up another point where people constantly, whether you have OCD or not, constantly beat themselves up for having bad thoughts, right? And the one thing that helped me get out of this OCD pattern. That one thing that I'm gonna make a meditation video about, that I've committed myself to do that because people deserve to hear this, is that our thoughts are not real. Okay? Your thoughts are not real. What you do about those thoughts, the actions are real, our thoughts are not real. And it took me so long to understand this. There is a lot of stigmatization of thought going on in the society today. Okay, people get ostracized for thinking a certain way or believing a certain way. And the OCD problem is so that it's not something you're actively bringing into your conscious. It's just your mind literally causing you to doubt yourself. Constant self-doubt. Having said that, having shared this today, I ask you, if you're watching this video, if this is a pattern for you and you just didn't have the verbiage for it, how does that make you feel hearing this from me? That there is so, such thing, that there is a disease, there's a doubting disease that's real. Living with OCD causes you to start doubting yourself in other areas of your life. And that's what's really sad about this disease is a lot of people out there are suffering because they don't understand that these thoughts are really thoughts. They're not real. And people are buying into what their minds are telling them. And they are thinking that they are the worst people existing in this planet. And it paralyzes people in so many ways, it's a crippling disease, okay? And all I needed to do was really understand that our thoughts are not real. And I would then go into these meditations where that was my practice. I would watch my thoughts go by one after the other, the after the other after the other, just like any other meditation practice. I would just focus on watching the thoughts go because in the back of my mind, I had trained myself to know that our thoughts are not real. I would constantly let that play every time I had a obsessive thought come to my mind. Thoughts are not real. Thoughts are not real. Your thoughts are not real. And that helped me for something that I would go for a month, three weeks, spiraling out of control about in my mind where everybody else thinks that I'm doing okay. No one knows about this. And I would spiral out of control thinking about what does that mean? Why did I think that way? What was that thought? Giving it so much more 
importance than it deserved, than these thoughts deserved, okay? That started getting reduced to a week where I would only obsess about that a week and, and by that end of the week, I'll be done with it. I'll be done with that obsessive thought. It would come back again, then it would get shorter. The, the, the recovery period, if you want to call it that, five days, four days, came to a point where it started lasting maybe a day. Now, when these thoughts come, they don't bother me more than five minutes, if that at all. And that is so huge for me. That has freed my mind from obsessing about things that did not exist, that would never occur, okay? Uh, I feel really victorious. And, and, and even the five minute long thoughts are not that common. Like it, it happens to me maybe once in six months, okay? There's shorter episodes where uh, the older patterns try to um, arise and, and trick me, but I am not the one to be tricked anymore because I feel so grateful about learning that your thoughts are not real. And certain people in the Western society have been taught to understand or acknowledge um, Rene Descartes saying, I think, therefore I am. I personally allowed myself to beat myself up for so long because I had kind of bought into it early in my journey. I thought that was a cool statement, but that statement needs to be thrown out because it gets taken out of context. Okay, what the card was saying may not have been exactly what I'm talking about here but that, at least to me, was a big barrier in, in order to understand how thoughts work. I think, therefore, I am. I am a thing that thinks. You are not a thing that thinks. You are a thing that lives in a human body, okay? This may be a lot for this video, but it's very important for me to emphasize the fact that we are not our thoughts. Um, I know um, this has been hard for me to talk about, but I do feel grateful um, that I've been able to let go of OCD, the pure obsession that I had. Um, and I hope this video helps you. And my message to you today is if you're suffering from anything like this, you don't have to label it, but you need to understand that our thoughts are not real. If OCD has been a problem for you or if obsessive thoughts specifically has been a problem for you i would like to hear it in the comment section your experience with it coach kp peace